Meru, a captain in police science and technology. He asked that Liz tell all the things in his memory. At that time, maybe Meru thought that someone wanted to hurt Liz. But Liz wasn't sure about that at all. Liz urged Meru to show the conditions outside and what really happened. But even the bad news that Liz heard, Meru said that the unit used by Liz had been destroyed by the factory about three years earlier. Liz was even more confused when Milo finished a medical examination and stated that Liz was not sick at all. All of that was beyond Liz's expectation, she was getting confused and panicking. Questions like how did she get locked up, who put her in the capsule, and stuff like that filled Liz's head. Because Liz was crying, then the warning system inside the capsule was activated due to the drastic increase in blood pressure and heart rate. Meru tried to calm him down by saying that their team had gone to the place where the cybergenic capsule was made to investigate. On that occasion, Liz asked Meru to ask for the administrator code so he could open the capsule. But unfortunately, before he had the chance to get the administrator's code, the call line was disconnected and could no longer be accessed because suddenly the number disappeared from the list. Liz panicked even more. Her oxygen levels dropped because she was too panicked and it had reached 29%, so Liz's chance of survival was 0%. When the palliative care system came out, Liz tried to reject the medical protocol. He dodged and damaged a needle-like device aiming at him. An alarm was raised due to the damage he did, but luckily that action freed him from the sedative injection. Seconds later, Liz felt herself starting to lose consciousness from the sedative released through the air passages in the capsule. There was a hallucinatory sensation that Liz had, she felt she had come home. Oxygen again decreased drastically now at 23%. On the brink of consciousness, Liz remembered a man who also worked as a technology scientist. After Liz managed to return to consciousness and oxygen levels had fallen to 22%. But now he was able to control himself and calm down. He tries to control Milo to find access about himself. After a row of articles about him came out, Liz remembered that he was a cybergenic doctor, and he was the one who put himself in the capsule. Her memories of research in the laboratory also appeared. Liz switched to accessing her social media and found that her husband's name was a man named Leo Ferguson. He told Milo to access his contact number, and there were two numbers to call. Liz dialed the first number but failed to connect because it was not registered. So he dialed the second number flashing a few scraps of memory popping up about Leo. A memory that confused him because Liz separated from Leo for no reason that he himself had forgotten why. The second number this time was successfully connected. Then there was a woman who answered and Liz told her that she wanted to talk to Leo then and said that this was his wife. The woman on the line seemed confused and shocked and she immediately hung up. Liz called her again several times but the woman angrily told Liz to stop doing it. Liz didn't stop trying to reconnect, but was always refused. Now the oxygen level continued to decrease. Liz tried to free herself from the bonds and succeeded. Now he just needed to try to force the capsule open. But Liz is now starting to hallucinate due to lack of oxygen intake in her brain. Liz trying to hold on, she took a sedative injection and drilled a slit to get out, but Liz ended up receiving an electric shock, which is the capsule's safety protocol. The condition made her look desperate, as if death was imminent, and in the middle of her decision, Liz got a call back from the police, but she suspected that they were hiding something from her. Meru is still communicating and trying to find out about Liz's current condition. At the same time, Liz was trying to hurt herself to trigger her brain to find her memories. She remembered the name of the hospital where her husband was treated at the hospital Clara Daniels. When Liz asked Meru to look for Leo, oddly enough the system suddenly removed all information about Leo and Liz's identity. Meru said that it was just part of his hallucination, and he also told me about something that Liz didn't remember at all that she had experienced before. Liz's suspicions are increasing as Meru tries to reveal Liz's identity about his mother about his school days. The problem was that Liz wasn't sure what Meru was saying at all. Oxygen levels decreased to 15%. Meru still hasn't given the code to open the capsule. This condition annoyed Liz. She chose to cut off the phone connection with Meru. 